Okay, so let's talk about your political headlines here at 34 minutes after the hour. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley uh, saying that he has evidence involving President Biden and his son in what he's calling a bribery scheme. So why don't we turn to our friend uh, Shannon over at Fox News Sunday here. Good morning to you. There is a lot going on here with this new story. The FBI reportedly upset saying they put the source in jeopardy, also pointing out that it's unverified. So how do we know what has their tails here? Good morning. Good morning, Lena. So yes, Senator Grassley said there's been so much speculation about this document. I want to put it out there. People could read it with no filter. Democrats, as you said, will say this is unverified. It came in from a human source. Now, one that the FBI had worked with reportedly for years through a number of administrations that had a level of trustworthiness with this source. But looking at the document now, we have dates, we have names, we have meeting places, all of the things that this person alleges happened and saying that there was a conversation that involved, you know, Burisma, this company over in Ukraine, why they had hired on Hunter Biden to their board, talking about that they wanted somebody kind of running interference. They mentioned his father and all kinds of other things. So again, this is coming from the one source. Um, Republicans will push back and say, listen, you guys to this, the Steele dossier, that was unverified as well. So you know, it's out there now. People can read it for themselves. And as you said, the FBI is worried about potentially jeopardizing the safety of sources who may be involved with this report. Another big headline. We have Jack Smith, special, special counsel, apparently sending a letter to President Trump saying you are the target of another investigation here. Mm -hmm. I want to kind of uh, use your legal knowledge as well but as a former lawyer. There was something interesting in there, uh, possible tampering with a witness, conspiracy to defraud the United States, but deprivation of rights. That one's interesting because it's usually used in another context. Yeah, and it may be used here potentially, and gosh, we haven't seen the letter, but we know potentially this is coming until that indictment is unsealed, like with the last federal mm -hmm. indictment. There's so much we don't know, but there has been conversation. Is this about voting rights? Is this about something connected to, um, you know, displacing legitimate votes? And that's some kind of deprivation of rights in that sense. So we'll have to see. But what we know is um, the president was given, the former president, a chance to testify before the grand jury. He had to let them know by yesterday if he was going to do that. Very few of us expect that he would agree to do that. So now we wait to see just how quickly this wraps up um, with what we believe is the D.C. grand jury that's been looking into those January 6th allegations and the things that came in the wake of the 2020 election. And a lot of focus, too, on our Texas border here with uh, Governor Abbott and the um, operation that's happening to kind of stave off the migrant uh, coming into Texas here. But now we have this new whistleblower saying that DPS troopers have been told to really do inhumane things when it comes to migrants, mm -hmm. denying them water, pushing them back into the Rio Grande River. Mm -hmm. So where do we stand on that? I know that the governor denies those claims, but it is a whistleblower. Yeah, and, and listen, when whistleblowers come forward, um, people want to know that the information they're bringing, you know, it's important, you got to vet it, and regardless of what their background is or who they are, um, you've got to take these things at face value as far as investigating and looking into it. I mean, whistleblowers do so usually a detriment to their own career and all kinds of things, so mm -hmm. you have to weigh why they felt it was so important to come forward. Another issue here is DHS Secretary Mayorkas. I mean, he says uh, in a brand new interview that's out, everybody agrees, Republicans, Democrats, whether you're not political at all, that the border is a mess. It is very dangerous for people on either side and that people are often risking their lives uh, to come here. So to hear about treatment that may, you know, jeopardize their lives even further is very unsettling for people. The problem is here in Washington, nobody can agree on how to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. So we have the latest surveys and polls and, and guests coming up on your show. We get a full mm -hmm. hour with you and I know your producers are never short of topics <laughs> to put in the rundown there. So thanks to you all. Appreciate that. So Shannon Bream, again, you get a full hour with her on Fox News Sunday right here on Fox 26 and also on Fox News.